What's up guys and welcome to another guide video for Cassidy. It looks like you guys wanted Cassidy and or Tracer. So I'm going to do Cassidy here and then I'm going to be doing Tracer for the next guide video. So make sure you look out for that guide on Tracer. It's going to be a little updated version and these videos are going to be more on positioning because I did guides for Cassidy and Tracer already multiple times of course. And I'm going to try to be talking about basically where you should stand a little bit more and trying to help you guys with that just trying to stay alive as long as possible with your team and trying to play around your team and everything like that. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, you can always leave a like on this video. It does help me out a ton and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well because I am very close to 7,000 subscribers finally after billions of years. I'm almost there. So as long as I keep the grind up, hopefully I can get back on schedule with you guys. Get right into the guide video. I'm just gonna stay main here, be on point. Basically help my team wherever they need. Shots at right, so anyone that's pretty low, I just throw a shot in there. Try to get them. Try to stick the mercy. Couldn't really get her. Try to stick with my team now and just push up a little bit. Keep trying to go after that mercy since the monkey's gonna try to go after mercy, right? And the Kiriko. So as long as I keep putting pressure on them, they'll keep wanting to step back, of course. But I'm staying alive here, so pay attention to where my monkey goes, and I'm kind of just staying with him and where my team is. So as you can see, I'm positioning kind of up in main because I don't really have like a Widow or a Sniper like that to one-shot me. They have a Genji. And they have a McCree, so. So it's pretty easy to stay alive. Until they use ult, of course. Keep stall in the back. Try to zone them out, wait for the deflect to go off, which he already threw the deflect. Looks like they're going to push a little bit. The Doom's going to push in. going to kill him really quick. Because my ultimate basically charged up. I'm gonna try to shoot that Genji. Don't shoot the deflect to kill my Anna. And then Anna's gonna punch him. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just staying alive. I'm literally just playing in the back line. Just make sure you see where your tank goes. As long as your tank is pushed up, you are pretty much safe. I'm gonna throw a little grenade up there to stick somebody so they can't really push in that much. They may go on me, but oh, he got stunned. Easy kill. I'm gonna stop shooting the deflect. Wait for Genji to jump back up maybe. There he goes. And there you go. As you can see, I'm staying back here. Always stay in the back line. Kind of stay in the back line to mid range. You never want to be up in the front unless you literally are like nano boosted, right? You kind of just want to stay in the middle to the back of the team to help whoever you need to help. You need to help your teammates. You need to help your supports. Your supports are something that you really need to help out when, you know, when someone's diving them in or whatnot, you see someone on your support, you always help them. Now, versus Azaria, I like to try to hinder her and then just literally constantly try to headshot the Zarya, but she will get low. I'm going to step back a little bit. Actually, I can push a little bit because my monkey's going in. Try to kill that. Mercy. And now they have a soldier in and a McCree, so you got to be a little bit careful for Cassidy. Zarya did get her a lot, so I put some shots on her, killed her instantly. Try to kill that soldier as well. I can actually high noon right here because we do have a McCree or a Ryan. Put some shots on the... Cassidy. Try to get a good headshot on the soldier. Oh, someone's on my right. Try to kill that bubble. So she can kill her. Shoot that mercy. I'm gonna try to go around here and look for someone. Maybe the tracer. Make him recall. And there we go. I was gonna flick on her head. But we won that round. It was pretty easy. So I kind of stayed in the middle, stayed behind the car, stayed with my team, watched wherever my tank went. Every time when my tank kind of goes in the then I help them out. You know, you always want to help them out and try to go after the supports because the supports are going to be around their teammates and they're going to try to heal their team. So they're going to be very distracted. Really was just staying in the back line and I was just putting support shots, basically. You don't really have to hit every single critical headshot. A lot of people think you have to hit a lot of critical headshots and just keep pounding them with critical headshots. You don't necessarily need to. You don't even need to get really good kills as Cassidy. To be honest, you can just literally light them up with some good shots on Cassie, like some good body shots, and get them low enough for your diveable tank, like a monkey or like a diva or something like that, to go in and kill him. And or like a Reinhardt. Like at the end, it was actually Reinhardt instead of the monkey. So he switched from Winston to, to Reinhardt. And then when the Reinhardt went in, I supported him. And I put some shots on the Mercy. I did kill the Mercy with my shots, but even if I didn't kill the Mercy, she was probably gonna die anyways from another teammate of mine, which was the Genji. So you don't necessarily have to kill people. You can just put some really good, like try to go for body shots if you're not good at hitting headshots. And then you can get a lot of good kills and make a lot of people low HP as well. 
And also, if you're hindered grenades, of course, just keep throwing them at, like, the Doom, at the, you know, squishy targets that are kind of pushing in, like, the dive -old targets. Of course, just staying in the back line. The monkey's gonna jump us. As Echo, of course. So I'm just gonna pop my high noon here, try to bait him away. He's gonna jump back, but that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna try to throw a hinder at the Echo. There we go, I finally got her. Try to go after the Mercy now. Still focusing on Mercy, not even looking at the Doomfist that's in my face. And I'm just gonna stay in main again, right? I'm staying behind my team right here. Gonna go after whoever I can go after. Looks like they are literally gone and back into their spawn. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just staying kind of mid range to behind my teammates, like basically playing like an Anna. I'm basically playing like Anna, like how she is. And I'm in the back line supporting my team. Ooh, see, if you're too far in main, then you'll get punched around by Doom. If they have a Doom, you want to be careful of that. Try to throw a hinder so he can't punch my tank, of course. The Doom is actually very low. I can actually push it a little bit more. Ooh, and I can't. So that's an example of me getting a little cocky there. So I got a little too much, and I thought I could handle more than I could juke. So that's a good example. I'm going to leave that in the video. That's a good example of bad positioning by me. I basically should have just hindered the Doomfist there and then stepped back a little bit where my Ana was so then I can support my team without, you know, exposing myself to all those angles. And that's another thing. It's kind of like Counter-Strike. You don't want to support, like, put your body, like, right here and have all these angles looking at you. You kind of want to be behind an environment kind of like this. So, like, at least you have this come out of cover and all this cover right here instead of, like, being out in the open, right? And that is a straight counter to our monkey, of course. So I'm gonna try to put some shots on the hog and try to headshot him the best I can. Try to headshot someone else as well. I'm just gonna pop that early because I am gonna get. Ooh, I was gonna say I'm gonna get hooked. She's gonna res right in front of me? Oh my god, I'm bad. So basically right there, I don't know what the Mercy's doing. She should have died if I had better aim, whatever. As you can see, I did get away from the hog. I killed the hog though, because I knew he was going to, you know, throw a hook at me. So I kind of had my high noon ready and then I popped my high noon early and then I got out of there and then I got the McCree as well. I hindered him and then headshot him a bunch and my team did as well. And that was pretty good. It's just everything after that kind of went downhill because I missed a bunch of shots on the Mercy. I wasn't expecting the Mercy to do that, to res in front of everybody, but she did. So she's she's crazy for that local. One more shot on that soldier that can kill her. Watch out for the hog, of course. Use your environment to your advantage right here. His hook is going to come up soon. I put a headshot on the soldier, so that's going to help my monkey. I'm just gonna watch his tracer now. Yeah, that tracer's gonna come up here. I don't know what he's doing. Gotta go after the hog now, help my team out a little bit. I knew tracer's gonna come back up here, so headshot at her. Go back down here, headshot the soldier, and then throw a little hinder. Maybe I can get the mercy. No, she's up there. Need a better headset. I got her though at the end. So right there, I'm just baiting out the tracer. I heard the tracer was gonna come up the stairs. And this is another thing. You can like really bait out the enemy team by having them push you and basically get distracted by you because you're up here creating a presence and as you can see you're up on the platform you're making it so hog can't really hook you because you're under this platform and it's really easy to stay up there for a long time unless the whole team basically pushes you so that's why i'm up here and i'm helping out my team by being up here it's a really good angle especially when they have a hog so i'm gonna try to go after the hog right here there we go got the hog throw a little hinder and a right click on him and then i can look for the mercy which i think the mercy's up here here she is there we go we can actually get the here we go as well nice but yeah up there is a really good angle because you can just sit up here and just not get hooked unless you really peek right here he can hook you but i do have high noon you got to be careful though because you don't want to get hooked just like that so i'm going to jump down here since he already used hook try to go after the soldier with my hook and then i'm just gonna lay on the hog because i got slept and i hear someone behind i think someone's up here actually yep that is the reaper up there my monkey and genji hopefully they can kill him mm. All right, looks like our Genji is salting, so I'm gonna drop down. See if I can kill here. Help my Genji out. And of course, when your Genji ults and everything like that, you always want to go in and try to help him. That's with any teammate. When your teammate ulting, you have to kind of just go, and you can't really just throw it around by not helping him out, unless it's like a throw all, and he's literally in the end of me spawn. You can't get to him if you're like very far away. But other than that, you have to get in there and help your teammates out. I'm gonna drop down here because one of my teammates are dead. And try to go behind them. This is risky. 
yeah like that i'm gonna keep that in there because that was a really risky play i only did that because one of my teammates died instantly and i knew my monkey is very low which he's gonna die too really quick so he was very low so i wanted to try to get in there and if i would have hit my shots i would have got the kiriko at least or the reaper someone i just was missing a lot try to throw a little nade over there just in case he pushed this way looks like the ball is dead and then the Kiriko is the last to fall and there you go that's game so that's basically how i played i made some mistakes a little bit but i have a good reasoning as why i made those mistakes as why i kind of pushed like that behind them and tried to get a pick because you want to make a risky play once your teammate once one of your teammates are dead and the positioning there was just to stay high ground try to you know throw them off by being on high ground and make it so they have to deal with you and then they have to deal with your teammates and always try to help your team and stay behind your team and you know be supportive <laughs> I almost killed the Kiriko. So right there, I was just literally dodging the Genji that entire time and trying to kill him. Too bad I was missing a lot of shots on the Genji. But I got the Widow in the back line, right? And if you're in that situation where you kind of got a little too much in there and you're not playing a good positioning like I've been saying the whole video, like around your teammates more, then, you know, you try to go after a kill at least and try to kill somebody. And I knew Widow was going to peek me like that. So it's a pretty easy nade on her so I can just headshot her and then let her die from the nade. I'm just staying with my team right here, trying to help my hog out. I'm gonna try to get a risky play here now. With my May. There we go, he tried to get me. Nah. So I did a little risky play there. You can do risky plays with your other DPS teammate. So if there's like a May with you, of course May's really good for close range battles. So you wanna be next to her and try to help her out. And yeah, you're just double teaming everybody on Cassidy. You never really want to go in there by yourself. If you do go in there by yourself, make sure you hit your shots and make sure you're doing a good play. You need a doctor. This is where you can play by yourself a little bit. If you're kind of ballsy like me, you get a good headshot on the Widow. And then go back to your team. Hopefully they heal me quick. There, I can go with my Lucio now. Push up a little bit. I'm still playing my teammates right here. I'm playing my Lucio. Since he's going to be sprinting in. I don't know how none of those shots registered, but okay. I can even get real ballsy and go out here and try to kill the Akiriko. And then try to dodge some shots that are coming in. That was good EMP. I'm pushing with that EMP. Try to go for the DPS first. And then try to go after the Mercy or the Akiriko in the back line. Akiriko's one shot, but I can't get her. Ooh, headshot at the Echo. have more so i gotta hide right here i'm gonna go play with my more now then i'll die i almost have ultimate mercy messed up her flight so i'll go after her and i'm just gonna basically los everybody make it so they can't push cart because i have high noon i'm gonna make high noon go off on the widow in the back line so usually when you do use your Cassidy all you always want to, your high noon, you always want to go in the back and literally just stand there so they can't really push the cart and get to the cart and delay the cart from being pushed just because you are in high noon so they will die and they have to hide behind the cart. So it really makes them go into like a little corridor behind the cart, it makes them sit in the front of the cart and they can't really do anything. They can't really move around because you're back there literally in high noon. So it really pressures them and forces them into a situation where they don't want to be in. And that's what you want to do with your ultimate as Cassidy. You always want to just use it as a, I would say zoning all. I always call it a zoning all. But that's what you're doing. You're zoning the team off. You're making it so it's harder for them to play. There you go. Try to go after the damage characters like the Soldier 26. Try to throw a Hinder Nade on the Zarya and then Headshotter. And then we just stand on car and we just wait. We wait, we wait, wait, and right there. So right there, basically I was going to wait for anyone to push right here. Like the Kiriko was going to wait and just keep putting shots on her. And or anybody else that pushes out of that corridor in the main of their spawn to basically slow them down. And if I had another Hinder Nade, throw it at them, of course. And that's why I like doing at the end of that, kind of just like sitting on top of cart and basically being a guardian, being like a security guard, if you will, to the cart. So I just waited for my team to push up there and use their ultimates to push in because you have a Jugger Queen. Let them get in there, fight a bit, 
and it helped my Moira kill that soldier. And then, of course, I went after the Soldier 76. Because the Soldier 76 needs to die, it is he's damaged. And he was already low HP. He was trying to run backwards for health, which I don't know why he's even in that position. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. That was my Cassidy guide for kind of where to stand, where to play. That last game, I didn't really want to record anymore after that last clip just because we lost that game. My tank was not good. So, once you have a bad tank in Overwatch, don't blame yourself. It just is what it is. It's tank 1v1s basically out here. So yeah, if you guys do need any more tips and or trips for Cassidy, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll be replying to some comments and trying to help some people out. I'm basically learning how to play Cassidy a lot better and where to play Cassidy and where to stand and everything like that, where to be on the maps and how to have good positioning basically so you stay alive longer. It's mostly just about playing with your team, playing kind of medium to mid range and in the fight zones and also trying to you know if you do want to do some risky plays you can just make sure you have that aim on point and you'll get some good kills with cassidy if you do some risky plays but again it is going to be a risky play if you're going to be pushing up and because you have low mobility you only have a little roll to get away and yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like and if you're not subscribed already you can always hit that subscribe button turn on that bell notification icon so you get notified when i do upload a brand new video here on youtube and or join my discord where you'll get notified when i upload a brand new youtube video as well and yeah have a great day and our night guys and peace